Archaeologists who work in the ruins of the Roman city of Pompeii have seen some amazing things over the years. Hello everyone! In this video, we will talk about how archaeologists digging in Pompeii have found a fast food place that has been there for 2,000 years. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. In 2018, digging began in a part of the city that has been well maintained. Since then, amazing pieces of art and the bones of people have been found. Another find made in March 2019 showed what people ate at that time and place. Archaeologists who were digging in Pompeii found a fast food place from 2,000 years ago. Pompeii has some of the most interesting and unusual sites in the world. They are in the south of Italy, near Naples. Pompeii was a place where about 20,000 Romans lived and went on vacation. But in the year 79 AD, a natural accident killed up to 16,000 people and made the city unlivable. People forgot about Pompeii for almost 1,700 years as time went on. Many of Pompeii's houses were still standing and bones and other things from daily life could be found all over the city. Even though the city was found 270 years ago, archaeologists are still finding things that tell us more about how people lived. Since 1906, when an earthquake killed more than 100 people, the volcano has been strong. The Summer Olympics of 1908 were going to be held in Rome, and Italy was getting ready for them. But Rome couldn't host the Olympics because of the earthquake. When Vesuvius blew its top, it did a lot of damage to Naples and the places near it. Instead of using the money to pay for the Olympics, it was used to improve the area. Because of this, the next Olympics were held in London, England. In 1944, during World War I, Vesuvius erupted again, destroying a number of Italian towns. No one knows what month in Europe's past this happened. August, October, and November have been mentioned. It was a very bad eruption that sent a big cloud of ash into the air. There was a lot of hot ash in the air. Rocks and gas were floating through the air, and they could be seen from hundreds of miles away. Pliny the Younger, a Roman writer, saw the disaster from about 18 miles away and wrote the only story from his own point of view. Pliny said that these kinds of volcanic events are now called Plinian eruptions, gas explosions, and a lot of pumice, a type of volcanic rock, caused them. At some point, the cloud of volcanic material started to fall from the sky, and soon after, ash and rocks started to cover the ground below. It seemed like a lot of people left Pompeii around this time, but not everyone did. The cloud of ash and dust from the volcano made it hard for the people of Pompeii to breathe. On top of that, some man-made buildings began to get weaker and then fell down. Pliny the Younger wrote about how scared people were when the volcano blew. He said that people could hear the screams of women. Some people dialed the numbers of their parents, while others dialed the numbers of their children or wives to try to figure out who they were based on their sounds. Some people prayed to die, while others cried about their own deaths or the deaths of people they loved. People asked the gods for help, but some thought there were no more gods and that the world would always be in eternal darkness. In the end, Pompeii was destroyed when a dangerous mixture of very hot rock and gas called a pyroclastic surge rushed down the mountain at 100 miles per hour and covered the city. People who got caught in it would have died, and houses would have been damaged or destroyed. But when archaeologists started working at the spot, the ruins were left open to the weather. This puts what's left of Pompeii and the things that are still there in danger. Because of the bad work done in the 1980s and 1990s, archaeologists were told they couldn't do any more work on Pompeii. To keep the remains from getting worse, a project called the Great Pompeii Project was set up. In May of 2018, Teresa Virtuoso, an archaeologist, found the bones of a guy. It looked like this person tried to get away from the danger of Mount Vesuvius' eruption but failed. The expert must have felt bad about this. In an interview with The Guardian in December 2018, she explained what it means. She said it made her think of the earthquake and how scared this man must have been as he ran away. 
Archaeologists said that while digging on a property in Pompeii, they found a painting of the famous Narcissus. An old story says that Narcissus loved himself so much because of how he looked that he melted. Regio V found another interesting place at the end of March. It was called Thermopolis, which means place where hot things are sold. There were a lot of these places in old Rome. There were about 80 Thermopolis in the ruins of Pompeii when Rome was still around. These were important places for poor Romans who needed kitchens. Even though they were regulars in Pompeii, interim director Alfonsina Russo thought the most recent one was important. Even though these buildings are well known in Pompeii, finding more of them and items that were used in business and daily life still gives us strong feelings that take us back to the sad days before the eruption. In another picture, there was a scene that could have happened. It showed a person inside a Thermopolis, which is possibly what happened. In real life, the things around the person in the picture were called amphi. Amphi was also found inside the Thermopolis, which seems to back up the idea that the picture shows what happened there. Because of this, experts think the picture may have been a sign for the old restaurant. Now that we found this old fast food place, we know more about how ancient Romans lived in Pompeii. We will learn even more when we dig in other places. Osana said, I can't stand it when people climb up on poles to take selfies. The problem is people who are too stupid to realize how fragile and unique Pompeii is. That's it for today. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let us know in the comment section. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.